Hello everyone, Tupalov here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic texture mod inside of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So first of all, you're going to want to download the tools from the description. You're going to want to open it up, go to U model, open that up, and see, you see this over here? You're going to want to open this. <laughs> and you're going to go over to your game directory and then you're going to navigate to FNAF 9 content packs select folder and you just click OK right here and it should just open this up this tool you model is for previewing files pretty much if you click on a file and you double click on it for the first time it's gonna be it's gonna ask you for an AES encryption key if you go into the U model folder I left in the key and so you can just copy paste that and then it's gonna ask you for Unreal Engine 4 version you're gonna put 4.25 okay and you should get a window like this so if you press O you can return to this menu here and if you click flat view you can search through all the files in the game so for example let's just try editing the minimap so I'm gonna go minimap and then if I click on it and disable flat view it takes me straight to where it is now I just have to click export I recommend putting PNG as your texture format and then you set the folder to wherever you want it to save. Click OK. Then boom. You have your texture file exported. Now once you've done that, you're gonna need to open up Unreal Engine and you're gonna want to create a new project, a blank one. and you're going to want to call it FNAF 9 create project so once you do that here comes the tricky part you have to recreate the game path inside of Unreal Engine so I'm going to have to create blueprints player UI and then camera maps and then uniform size now I'm gonna make a little edit inside of uh, Photoshop Okay, now that I have Photoshop open, I'm just going to paste a random picture from my pictures folder. Uh, then I'm going to export it. So once you have the image that you've edited, you're going to just want to drag it into UE4. And here's something really important you have to do. You're going to want to go inside of here and where it says texture group, you're going to have to change it to the appropriate texture group. So for example, since this is for the mini map, I'm going to change it to UI. And another important setting is this MIP gen settings, depending on the kind of texture you're editing you might want to remove mip maps but for example here by default if you have your texture group set to UI it'll generate no mip maps 
So after you do that, you're going to want to go to File, Cook Content for Windows, and you're just going to wait for a little bit. Once this is cooking complete, you're going to want to open your project, saved, cooked, and then you're going to see a Windows No Editor. I recommend you copy paste this folder and you rename it to whatever your mod is. I'm going to call it Cool Minimap. And here's the important part you're going to want to remove everything that is not part of what you changed. So you're going to have a U asset and a U export that looks good. Next. Wow. You want to go you want to you're going to go back to the tools folder. Go to Unreal Pack. And you're going to want to drag this over to Unreal Pack with compression.bat. Should open a little command window. And once it says it's done, you're going to have a little pack. After that, let's set up Unverum now. You're going to want to run Unverum. Go over here, Five Nights at Freddy's. You can either launch through Steam or you can launch through the executable. I'm going to launch through the executable. So you're going to want to click on that and set up. And then you're going to want to go to where your game is and boom you got it set up now you want to click add mods create new mod I'm gonna call it cool mini map and now it's gonna ask me for the pack file so open the pack file that you gave it earlier or the pack file you made earlier and boom and if later on you want to like update the pack file you can just right click open mod folder and then just replace this as you're working on the mod but now that you've done that you pretty much done all the work you're just gonna click launch right here most mods follow the same basic uh workflow where you just import stuff into unreal with the original path and then you cook and you build but it's not too hard and unverum makes your life much easier okay so now if we open the map there we go, we have our edited texture. And so, last thing before I go, if you want your mod to work with Unverum's download feature, when you upload it to Game Banana, make sure you just zip up the, the pack itself, and then when you install it through here, it'll automatically add the thumbnail and description from Game Banana. Oh, anyways, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Join our Discord server. I'll link it in the description. And well, this has been Tupolov, signing off.